This is about setting up your computer for the game design course. First thing I'd like to point out to you is that the course overview section is not optional. Where is the course overview section? Right over here. This is where your download is for the computer. This is where you will find all the instructions, how to zip files. I know it's the same from computer course to computer course, but trust me, you want to review this, at least double check where your course resources are. I open this up. Here I have table of contents. I can click this up. And you can see there are four labs here. And in here it talks to you, it tells you all about what you need to know about choosing your browser, changing your settings, um, downloading 7-Zip, and um, downloading course resources. So I want to take you to downloading course resources. This is an integral part that you need to do whether you know all this stuff or not. You still need to click this link to download the course resources and you want to download this to a folder that you set up. Okay, so now I'm going to show you how to set up your folder. So what you do is you go down here on your, uh, go to your folders tab and this will pop up here. Click on Documents, and what you want to do is you want to make a folder called Web Design. I mean, um, Game Design. So you just click New Folder, and then just call it Game Design. Then you open this up. So what you're going to do is you're going to download um, your course materials to the folder you named Game Design. So I open it up. We're going to put it right in there. So I'm going to come click this link to download the course resources. And you click Save File. Click OK. And then you choose where to send it. So now you have it in your Documents folder. You right click this. You just click Extract All. Click Extract. This will give you your folders here. Now while I'm here, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go and turn on my file extensions. And the way I do that is I click the Organize button here. I go down to Folder and Search Options. I click on the View tab right here. And I take the check mark out of Hide Extensions for Known File Types. Trust me. Just take that little check mark out of there. You're going to save yourself a ton of trouble. Just do it. Go OK. OK, now I'm going to, um, I'm all done here. I'm just going to close this out for now. OK, the only other thing you have to do is you have to set up your internet browser. And it's a pretty simple thing to do. I'll show you here with uh, Firefox. If I um, come over here to Tools. And um, I come down to Options. I go into my General tab. And I can click Restore to Default. OK, the next thing I do is Internet Explorer. I can show you Internet Explorer now. In Internet Explorer, your settings, you got a couple more than you do with Firefox. You come over here to Tools down to Internet Options. Here um, you, go, you go to Security. You click Default Level. Go into Privacy. Click Default. And you go into Advanced and you click Restore Advanced Settings. So that's all you need to do. You need to just set your um, internet browser settings back to default levels. That's all you do. And you're done with setting up your computer.